I'm Mr. JWW, car crazy YouTuber. And today, I'm in a pretty remote location to collect my car! When Mercedes-Benz asked me if I'd like to spend a day with the new A-Class, it took me less than a second to say yes, because this thing is packed full of technology. So one of the awesome features of this car is the way you interact with the infotainment system. They call it MBUX, and it has a feature called Linguatronic, which allows me to just talk to the car to input the normal command. So let's give it a try. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Take me to a fish restaurant. Please select an entry. Just like that. There's restaurants available for me directly. Let's try one more. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Change the temperature to 28. The temperature is set to 28 degrees. And just like that, all of my commands were done without having to take a single hand off the steering wheel. So what you just heard was Linguatronic. It's an intelligent voice control activated by a casual, hey Mercedes. How can I help you? And it's intelligent because you interact with it just like a human. So there's multiple ways you can interact with the car. There's Lingotronic, which is, as you've just heard is effortless. There's a touch screen here, a touch pad down here, the touch control buttons on the steering wheel, and all of this adds up to an incredibly intuitive experience. So what's revolutionary about this system is that MBUX is powered by artificial intelligence, meaning that the more you interact with it, the more it learns about you personally. So let me give you an example. Say every day at five o'clock, you call your loved ones or friends. After a while, the system will learn that behavior. And then when you get in the car, the next time they would be on top of your personalized suggestions. I mean, how awesome is that? There's also this really cool feature. We've all been there when we've walked away from our car and we've wondered if we've wound the windows up or if we've locked it. Well, Mercedes has this online service called Mercedes Me Connect, which is ready to partner with MBUX. And you can go online via your phone or an online browser, and you can check the status of your car. You can check out where you've parked it. You can even see if you've locked it or the windows are up or down. You can even see how much fuel is left in the tank. All of that tech is really awesome. And in fact, for some people, it might be enough to buy the car alone. But for me, I'm a driver and I wanna know what this car is all about when I'm behind the wheel. The first impressions are wonderful. It's a very lightweight, nimble car and the steering feedback is weighted lovely and the engine has plenty of sort of torque and uh, power to enjoy all of this road. But what's great is when you're driving it at a bit more of a higher flow, it really comes in to its own and finds this wonderful balance that lets you enjoy this incredible environment. The A200 I'm in right now is a 1.3 liter four-cylinder engine with 163 brake horsepower. Uh, that might not sound like much, but honestly, in this package, it suits it so well. The A250 puts four cylinders to work to offer a powerful 224 horsepower and comes with a seven-speed DCT as standard. The Agile 1.5 liter, 116 horsepower, four-cylinder diesel engine of the A180D is also designed for dynamic efficiency. And more engines will follow. In the new A-Class, the comfort suspension comes with steel springs as standard. Optionally, the new A-Class is available with a 15 mm lower suspension than the standard offering to underline its sporty appeal. As an optional feature, the damping behavior can be customized via an adjustable system. Ultimately, this is all about flexibility. It's giving you the choice of changing the dynamics of the car depending on where you're driving. So if you want a sporty drive, 
or a relaxed countryside cruise, or you're going slower in the city, at the flick of a button, the car is adapting to the driver's needs. All right, let's find somewhere to stop the car so we can check out the exterior. So the previous generation A-Class marked an incredible reinvention of the car. Not only did it become a lot more sporty, but it also began to appeal to a younger audience, which in turn made it one of the most exciting cars in its class. And while this car has some incredible tech on the inside, I want to talk about how fantastic it looks on the outside. It's adopted a more purist design ethos. But let's talk about some of the features that make this car look so great. The first thing that comes to my eye is this incredible sweeping catwalk line that goes all the way down the side of the car. It is literally point to point. And one feature which you might not pick up on straight away is the fact that the car has a much longer wheelbase. And what that does is just gives it this lovely squat and, and stance that gives it a much more sporting feel to it. Continuing on, that theme is a steeper bonnet line as well that drops off quite suddenly. And to complete the whole package is the larger wheel arches, which accommodate 16 to 19 inch alloys. And I think the whole thing just looks so awesome. Speaking of wheels and that longer wheel base, not only does it make the car look great, but also allows for more room in the rear for any passengers. Speaking of rear, here we are, and you can see immediately that it has this lovely wide stance, which is further exaggerated by these shoulders here. And something else you might have picked up on is that the rear lights are actually split in half. Now, that looks great for sure, but the practical benefit is that when you open the boot, you'll notice that half of the lights go up with it, which means they don't encroach on the boot space. So when you're throwing bags inside, you've just got lots more room. And finally, moving around to the front of the car, which might have my favorite feature, is the iconic Star Grille, which has these optional chrome diamond pins which ties in really nicely with the determined looking headlights, which also has this awesome chrome inlay here. I think when you stand back from the car, it, together they just look so great. Now let's check out the interior. So as with the exterior, the interior has clearly been designed as a revolutionary experience as well. The moment you step inside this, it just wows and engages the passenger immediately. So obviously the first thing you experience when you get in the car is of course the seat. Immediately you can tell it is made from gorgeous leather and it hugs you nicely. And then your next point of contact is the steering wheel, which has a lovely reassuring feel. And then what hits you next is the harmonious wraparound design, which is clad in luxury fabrics. So the dashboard actually appears to float. It is split into two distinct sections with the air vents being down here and the display screens on the top, which sit in this beautiful trench, which acts as a stage for the screens. One of my favorite features is actually the way these turbine air vents look. One other great feature is this. You can choose from 64 different ambient light colors to suit your mood or even the theme of your car. You know, sitting in this thing, you're aware that you're in a compact class, but the quality of it makes you feel like you're in something at the next level. There's actually some really incredible assistance systems found in this car that are normally reserved for cars of a much higher tier, and yet they are found in this A-Class. The car is constantly scanning and observing the immediate driving environment, which in turn provides safety and support. The newer A-Class features active brake assist as standard. This effectively helps you avoid accidents by braking for you times of emergencies. We even have Active Distance Assist, which Mercedes calls Distronic. This effectively helps to maintain a distance between you and the vehicle in front. It also supports speed adjustments. With the optional driver's assistance package, it can provide steering assistance. 
One amazing optional feature is together with the updated cameras and radar, they talk with the navigation system to predict your journey. So for example, if you have a left turn approaching soon, the car will automatically begin to slow down for you to anticipate that turn. It just makes your journey a lot more comfortable. One feature that I've never seen before is a system called PreSafe Plus. What this effectively does is identifies a potential rear end collision. And it helps to mitigate this by warning others and at times can even tighten the seatbelt. When it comes to driving safety, Mercedes-Benz clearly aims for the top spot in the compact segment. After dark, multi-beam LED headlamps help the driver keep an eye on the road. Previously only available on higher classes, each of these headlights contains 18 individually controllable LEDs. The daylight hue of these LEDs is easy on the eyes and has a positive effect on the driver's concentration. Despite the assistance features, I'm still fascinated by MBUX and this massive cockpit that enables it. The widescreen cockpit provides the perfect location to interact with these innovations. In front of you is the instrument cluster and to the right is the touchscreen media display. What's amazing about all of this is that this technology has made its way into a car of this class. Normally this kind of thing is reserved for cars in the upper tiers, but the fact that it's in the A-Class is incredible. There's three screen setups available for the A-Class. There's one with two 7-inch displays, there's one with a 7-inch display and a 10.25-inch display, and that one makes the media display the larger screen. And then there's this setup, which is the two 10.25 inch displays. So drivers can now customize their display screens. Let's start with the media display on the right here. For example, if you wanted to rearrange the order of these apps, you just press and hold on one of the apps, in this case, the navigation app, slide it across to where you want it, and then just tick confirm, and that locks it nicely in place. Same goes for the instrument cluster, only this time I'm using the buttons. So I'm gonna bring up the menu, swipe to the right using the little swipe button, click on that, and I'm gonna opt for understated. There it goes, changes the display to something else. So while all of this looks great, this is a genuine case of form follows function, because of course, without the screens, these buttons would have to be physically on the dash. But with this, it's added clarity to the user experience. What an incredible day, what an incredible car. The tech in that thing has blown my mind and the drive in the mountains was out of this world. As always guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.